<laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I know. Oh. Hey, so, like you... So, hey, like you, I don't have many distractions, and I have plenty of time to get my stuff, stuff done. But if you are ever struggling with uh, distractions or, you know, being interrupted with your work, take a lesson from Seth Godin, who has written more than 7,000 blog posts. Uh, talks a lot about this in the book, The Practice. I think you really like this one. Run the clip. Speak from real life experience. I mean, you're the Mickey Mantle, you're the Cal Ripken Jr. of um, blog bloggers, right? Are you still writing consistently every single day? Yes, I have not missed a day. I'm 7,000 plus posts into it. Writing a blog every day has been a fantastic practice for me. I don't know how many people read it. I don't seek to monetize it. That's not what it's for. What it's for is I made a decision one time to write every day. And so I don't have to revisit that decision. I don't post a blog post because I feel like it. And I don't post a blog post because it's perfect. I post a blog post because it's tomorrow. And that idea helps the work move forward. Is this something... Well, let me, let's, let's go back in the chronology 7,000 plus posts ago. Give us some context about what year this was when you decided to start the most, probably arguably the most interesting, the most read, the most iconic marketing, is that what we're calling it? A marketing blog? Thought, thought leadership blog on the internet. What, what year is this? It started as an email newsletter in 1995. So maybe off the heels of permission marketing, um, this idea of getting people to opt in, to raise their hand, to say, I, I want this, I want to hear from you every day or every week or every month, whatever your frequency is. And, and how did that go? You started writing this newsletter. Did it get traction right away? Or So the purpose at the beginning was pretty simple. I needed to explain to my grandmother what I did for a living. <laughs> and she did not have an email address, but it's the closest I could come. And so there were only 40 people who got it at the beginning. And it was about me and the work I was doing. And it was really, it was just a personal journal. And when blogs first showed up, I, I remember Joey Ito, who ran the Media Lab for years. Uh, I had just met him that day, the same day I met Jacqueline Novogratz and also Queen Noor, the Queen of Jordan. Uh, also, Sergey Brin and a whole bunch of other cool people. But two of the people I remember the best were Jacqueline Novogratz and Joey Ito. And I looked at Joey's laptop, and he had this thing open, and it was called TypePad. I said, that's beautiful. And he explained to me what it was. And I had knew, known about Blogger before that, but it was TypePad that looked like I wanted to look. And I said in that moment, I'm going to shift my email newsletter to this platform and start writing for other people, not just about me. And I was, some days I would write three blog posts. I would skip days. I didn't have a calendar in mind. But about 100 days into it, I was being read maybe by 50 or 100 people a day. Then I started to write a blog that sounded like my blog. I wrote a, a blog post about the Apple Store. And then I wrote a blog post called the Provincetown Helmet Insight about why and how people in Provincetown, Massachusetts, were wearing bikes, helmets when they rented bikes. And once I found that voice, I knew I was in it. And then I got a little carried away, and some days I would do six or seven posts, and my readers were complaining because apparently it bothered them that they weren't reading all the posts. And people were writing me notes saying, you're posting too often, I would write back, well, then don't read them all. Like, no, I want to read them all. Post less often. And so then I compromised on every day. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that. You know, tracking my roots, where I came from and where I'm going. But like I say, man, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Ain't nothing changed but the weather. 
the dangling carrot and hang from the rear view. Uh -huh. Your dreams in the past ain't nowhere near you. Uh -huh. Backseat drivers got nothing but two cents. Shotgun riders, too biased, they all liars. I should get an A for effort, I'm too tired. But I'm never giving up, that's why I'm kinda admired. Role model, like it or not, I gotta play it. Sugarcoat the rhyme sometimes, but still say it. Said I was quitting at 40, it's just a fib. I'm still a kid that's wiping the food.